Uh, what percentage of men do you think make five hundred thousand dollars a year? Uh, top one percent. It's about top two <laughs> percent. Like, she wants a one percent that shit. It's not two percent plus right? fourteen percent. It's two percent times fourteen percent, <laughs> right? So it's two percent of fourteen percent. That's the men you have to choose from. Okay, that's why I'm still single. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> You're just spilling tea. I'm looking for a man in finance with trust fund. Six five, blue eyes. Okay, wait. Why did she kill this? We got to go ahead and make something. I'm looking for a man in finance. I'm looking for a man in finance. Trust fund. It's only right to make this as (laughs) great as possible. Too much tequila. I want this guy to make some music. Oh, I love this guy. Wait for the drop. I'm looking for a man in finance. Just like six eyes, blue eyes. As a six foot five man with blue eyes who works in finance, I can tell you unequivocally, you will never date a man like me. A man like us. Because Men like us, who are blessed enough to be very tall, very wealthy, with beautiful blue eyes, we would never date a woman who is looking for a man. We only date women Go away, who Bernard. don't have to look for a man, who have never looked for a man in their lives. They're the kind of women who, when they do rarely become single, there is a queue of blokes above six foot tall, earning at least eight figures a year, lined up around the block just waiting to take them for a coffee waiting and so i'm afraid ladies and anybody else posting this song <laughs> you are so not bad. going to make it he definitely put that suit on to get you, in the car and make that video you are not going just to saying. make it <laughs> nobody wants you that's baldy. what it was <laughs> that's like that trend where they're like get a hair we hair don't want the hair. Hair. all right here we go <laughs> How, how tall do you need your man to be? Over six feet. Okay, six feet. How about you? What are we talking about? Height? Yeah, height. Oh, okay, that height. Yeah, like six, six foot's good. I've dated short guys too. I love What's short guys. What's the shortest guys. you'll go, honey? We love you, short guys. Probably about six feet because I want to comfortably wear four inch heels. Yeah, how nice. tall are you? You're nice. hot. Like, how I'm tall five, are you? Five, eight. Oh, okay. Hi. So I want to wear four inch heels and Beautiful. have my man be taller. Okay, so my, my, my question, uh, my question is, what percentage of the population do you think is over six feet tall? I don't know, like 10 to 15%. It's like 14%. And then how much do you want your guy to make? We had this conversation. Yep. Well, what did I say last time? Like a hundred thousand. hundred thousand. What do you want your guy to make? Okay, so I learned. I was like, oh, I don't care. I don't care. And then I looked after men. And now I'm like. Yeah. You care. Them yeah, you want them to be, gen- you she wants them to be generous and broke somehow. Yeah, I don't no, understand no. how that works. <laughs> no, I, I didn't, no, I never cared about You know me. I, do, I know that I've you don't like want that. them. You don't care. Never you want them like to be that. generous, but they're broke at the same never time. Never, ever been like that. But now I've learned my lesson. Now you got to be making some money to look after me. How much? You're asking me, and I almost moved into a treehouse. Okay. Don't point. look at me like that, Tristan. <laughs> Girl, what? Like, I actually Don't picked up my life me. and moved into a treehouse. I mean, if I'm living in America and I want to live comfortably, uh, I don't know, like... Four, five hundred thousand dollars. Okay. So <laughs> one hundred billion dollars. The rich ones are stingy. Like five hundred thousand dollars a year. So That's why they're rich. <laughs> what percentage of Yeah, what percentage of men do you think make five hundred thousand dollars a year? Uh top one percent. It's about top two percent. <laughs> like, she wants the one percent that shit. So you understand, like it's not it's not two percent. <laughs> <laughs> it's not two percent plus fourteen percent. It's two percent times fourteen percent. <laughs> right? So it's two percent of fourteen percent. That's the men you have to choose from. Okay. Did yeah. you guys know that Michael has a son? That's why I'm still single. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> You're just spilling tea. <laughs> she gets it. Beautiful. All right. Awesome. Yeah, I would just say be careful for the guys who are, you know, wanting these things because there's a lot of girls who are gonna say that they want these things, but it's after they were a hoe. So <laughs> be super fucking careful. True. I think it's Whoa, 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 wow, wow, we wow, little man. So wait, wait, hold on a minute. Say that again. Wow, wow, we wow, little man. No, he's right though, because like, exactly, living proof. Like, I went through like 
fucking hoe phase, and then it's like, mm. then yeah. then you want yeah, beef with her, not me. Yeah, beef with her. Okay, but then but then you you already lived in the streets. I already lived in the streets. Yeah, exactly. You both have. That's what I'm saying. I lived in the streets. Yeah, now, men now have I want to come back company. home. I want to come back home. Yeah. And now these men are like, but you were out in the streets. So now so you're, were not, you, you're, not, you're not a homemaker wife material. And I'm like, no, but I am. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> who am I trying to convince them or myself? What do you, what do you guys think about thing. that? I think I think that a lot of guys who like have that problem with you, like saying, oh, well, you were, you were, you're for the streets, right? And then yeah. suddenly now it's like you and have a change. And you cha- wasn't? How old are you? 25. 25, okay. And a half. So usually, usually this... Used and abused at 25, usually apparently. Usually... Chris, they're going to give you shit for your tattoos anyways. But, no, I was going to say, it's like, uh, uh, what's what's funny to me is like, it's it's one extreme or the other. It's yeah. either it's either you've got to be some virgin wife from the Dutch Amish country in Pennsylvania Hell somewhere, yeah. or else... Good you've luck, got, yeah, see, Oh, yeah, you've got to find, got to find some, like, vir- they want a virgin bride, and these guys are just these asocial kind of, like, you know, uh, autistic children in the yeah. first place. It's, yeah. Or... You're you're a used up, ran through whole bag. That's yeah, it's a, a paradox. Me. Stefan Arno yeah. talks about it. Mm-hmm. It's uh, guys want the version. <laughs> That's what. Yeah. Okay. It is what it is. A whore is a terrible, terrible term. Mm. Like for instance, especially depending on how old you are. Like for instance, I probably had like a boyfriend. Um, like slept with one guy or something, maximum two a year. But then when you add it all together, it actually looks really bad as opposed to a guy <laughs> who's out every weekend and then they're like banging everything in sight. And then they're like, but yeah, you now know those I guys can't bang everything in sight. You know that, right? Do you know I want that. a oh. girlfriend. I'm like, well, go get your pussy done, okay? And then just forget what happened. You know most guys can't bang everything in sight. You know that, right? They actually can. And then we, if we get pregnant... Go tell no that to my ugly exes that cheated on me. <laughs> They'd be out there. They just, if they look, they just be like, with the ugly ones. If they, they look like your the boyfriend ones. now, I will give them a call, sorry. <laughs> well, reality is you still were attracted to him. He's cute. So, girls want... Girls... The thing is, girls want mastery over a man that cannot be mastered. And guys want a girl who is a virgin whore. A girl who has not had a lot of experience, but she knows what she's doing. Okay, and I'm going like to send paradox. so many women your way. <laughs> so, <laughs> the, like, you so you were, you were asking before. You were asking. You were asking before what I think about Zoe's situation, and the answer is it doesn't matter. There are Sorry. going to be waves and waves and waves. I mean, she's got a man now, but there's going to be waves of men who are totally and completely Zoe come into my life, no questions asked, yeah. not even worry about it, and it's only going to get. It's things are only going to go further in that direction. What is it? Mm. Judge, and you too shall be judged. Well, I, like I said before, I like to say me. I like to say things work or don't work. Yes. Mm. Judge, and and the idea of being be with judged. a woman who has a high body count, do I think that that works? From the, the data I've seen, it doesn't seem to work. But that's just what I've seen. Do, so the, but I'm in a situation where I can choose who I'm with, whereas most men, I would say 85% of men okay. cannot. But you're and the bottom 30, 100 girls and, every Well, the stats huh? don't lie. Wait, 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 say it again. A honey. <laughs> what did you in say? In the 10 years I've known you, you're around hundreds of women, 24-7. That doesn't mean I've slept 20... with hundreds of women every year. Just lighting up outside Lies. of your Lies. environment. <laughs> <laughs> like, Michael, this is not defamation. Yeah, honey. Guys, not, some of You're going to be okay. <laughs> not every year. Not every year. Every month. 